Hello and welcome again to another screencast from Express Thoughts. Uh, today we're going to be continuing on our series on how to work with the GMAP module and uh, location module in Drupal 7. In our last tutorial, we talked about how to install and configure these two modules. And when we did that, we set that up in our, on one of our, our content tabs, which was articles. And when we set that up, we noticed that a new tab uh, was added which allowed us to add location information and uh, today we're going to be uh, uh, and when we created that we, we saw we had a node location page and we showed um, the three uh, branches that we created however we want to be able to use a view to create something similar so we're going to be looking at how to work with the, uh, the gmap module and the views module for this tutorial make sure you've got the gmap module installed the location module and the views uh, module to start out, let's create a simple uh, view. Create add, add new view. We're going to call this view uh, view map. Uh, it's going to be of type. I did mine on type article. I guess for you, when you're using it for real life situation, you want to maybe have a type of maybe map or branch office or whatever. And uh, once that's done, the next thing you're going to do is click on continue and edit. Right. When we start is done, uh, we find out that. It's listing uh, different random stuff here already. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, change the format. Uh, we're going to be using the GMAP uh, module uh, display rather. So once I click on the GMAP display, I click on apply. Uh, make sure your data source is the location uh, module. Uh, the marker handling will be using a single marker type. Uh, for our marker uh, for today, let's use a big blue. Once that's done, uh, I'll show you what this does before we come back to the other settings. I'll click on apply. Make sure if you've got other pages on your views, you set this to this page. But I've not got anyone, so I can as well use my all displays. And once that's done, I click on apply. Once that's done, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I want to remove my pager. Uh, display specified number of items. I set this to zero to make it uh, no limit. I click on apply. Once that's done, uh, I think we're, we're pretty much ready to show our map already. So we've got a part of view map, which we can use. So once that's done, I'm going to click on save. And the next thing we're going to do is uh, let's type uh, slash view map. And once this is done, uh, we'll find out that we've got our three uh, markers appearing on our map. However, if you look, if you over click, there's nothing. Uh, which comes up uh, compared to this one where when we over we have this and when we click we have something like that and so for us to be able to achieve the same result on our map let's go back to edit our map our view so what we're going to do is rather than use content we're going to be using fields so i'm going to select fields uh, click on apply and i click on apply so we've got the title let's add another field let's add the body Click on apply. I don't want that. Click on apply, and that should not have the title and the body. So let's go back to our format settings and on our settings page, uh, let's change uh, some things there. So the first thing we're going to change is we're going to change our two tip field. Uh, when we run over markers, we set that to title, and we will change our pop up bubble to our body field. Uh, once that's done, if I click on apply and then let's click on save and let's see what that does for us if I refresh now and I over if I find branch one however we've seen an href tag and branch three branch two if I click on it I will see the pop-up with this is a branch of his one I can close that click that and that's branch of his two so let's uh, get rid of um, this href appearing we want it to just show branch three so if I go back to my view mode page, click on tie to, and this time I say link this, nope, and I click on apply. And when I click on save this time, and I go back to my view page and click on refresh, and I over over it now, now we've got branch one, branch two, and branch three. Uh, this brings us to the end of the tutorial on how to work uh, with the cheap map uh, and the views and location model. I'll see you in the next tutorial.